Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and this is Getting Done With It. Uh, I'm so sorry for being gone for um, for quite some time. I do apologize, but one word, school. Yes, school is crazy. But today we're going to be talking about the D1 Spring Academic Schedule. I'm going to be using the schedule that I had for my D1 year. Let's get started. The first thing we'll be talking about is the examination block on Monday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is the same thing like the fall semester. It'll host a majority of your examinations, but once again, not all of your examinations will take place on that Monday. So please do keep in mind that this is the last time that you'll have an examination block that big on a Monday. So soak it in, take in the luxury, study, all those fun things. Your next block is the lunch block. So if we compare this to the fall semester, this is an hour later than the fall semester. At the beginning of the semester, it was a little bit difficult to get adjusted to this. So please do bring your healthy snacks, your water, all of those things, because it's, it takes a little bit of a while to get used to that adjustment. Alrighty, onto one of our bigger classes, Microbiology Lecture and Lab. This is worth about six credits. As you can see on this schedule, it does not distinctively tell you when you go to lecture or lab, but don't worry, in the syllabus, it'll tell you when you have to go. You'll expect to have about four exams, six quizzes, and in the labs, you'll do things like gram staining. So if you remember that from undergrad, you'll be set and you'll be in and out of lab. The syllabus is really nice and it breaks down the lecture title as well as the lecturer. Sometimes the title for the lecture does not match the title on the PowerPoint, but um, don't worry, just stay focused and remember to match them onto the schedule. I also believe that the material for the class was given a day or two ahead of time, so that's good that you get it before class, but you don't get it in a week advance and all that, so you're going to have to plan according to that. Um, there is one big lab report due at the end as well as clinical places when you go to the lecture So expect to do that have lots of fun. I think I posted about that on my Instagram story once Just like the fall semester schedule for D1 year you have self-directed learning blocks But this time they're spread out in the morning. So guess what you only have one 8 a.m. Oh that deserves a round of applause. I mean, honestly, ADMs are so difficult to get to. Anyway, self-directed learning block is just as it's described. It is self-directed for you to learn and or study. So please enjoy it. Use it wisely. Some people use those naps. You know, I'm, I'm, naps are great or sleeping in early. So I don't discriminate. You do what you need to do in your self-directed learning. I would encourage you to still come to school and study, but eh, everyone's different. Here we'll be talking about our operative lecture class on Tuesday starting at 9 because, you know, you got to sleep in a little bit earlier that day. This class is worth about one credit. You'll expect to see two exams, lots of random pop quizzes. Basically, be there on time because you can count on there being a quiz in that class. Here at HUCD, you know, they want you to be competent. So if you don't know the information on the fly, please expect a pop assignment. That could be a random tooth drawing. That could be a paper assignment. That could be a chart to fill out type of assignment. So just, just expect that to happen. Depending on the professor that will be teaching will determine when you will receive the PowerPoint or if you will even receive the PowerPoint. Um, the syllabus didn't really give you a chapter to refer to in the book, but there is a book and they give you topics for the PowerPoint. So you can definitely find that on your own if you want to prepare for class. The different topics you'll be learning about are instruments, infection control, ergonomics, treatment planning, caries, cavity nomenclature, X, Y, Z. Dental materials lecture and lab worth about 2.5 credits. Your lecture will take place on the Tuesday and on the Friday will be your lab. The class is usually split up into two. So one will go in the first half of those three hours, I believe, and one will go in the second half of those three hours. And the time that we took it, we switched off. So maybe the first week would be section one and then the second week is section two. For examinations, there are about three exams, lots of random, random quizzes, so please do expect them, and there were laboratory projects due in the lab portion. There is a syllabus separate for the lecture and the lab, oh, also for microbiology, sorry I didn't mention that, but there's a separate syllabus for the lecture and the lab. It's the same breakdown of the lecture with the lecture, but also includes, includes references to the book, so that's really good. Um, the topics include restorative resins, polymers, amalgams, cements, impression materials. Um, sometimes this information coincides with the lab, but sometimes it doesn't. There are quizzes in both the lecture and the lab, so be prepared all the time. Be on your toes. Um, topics in the lab include, you know, how, how to put on a rubber dam, how to use a liner and a base. 
etc. So this class is evidence-based decision making. It's weighted 0.5 credits. There's only one exam for this class, but don't worry, the material wasn't too crazy, but it was the foundation for the evidence-based decision making class that you'll also take in the D2 fall semester year. So basically, if you, if you grasp the information here now, the second class is also a walk in the park. Personally, I like this course. It was really cool and good information to know how to really decipher and take apart a paper. If I could say like dum 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 or like put in one of those sound effects, that's what I would do for this class. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Physiology, the lecture course. As you know, if you've watched my vlogs, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm about to cry because of this class. If you know, if you've watched my vlogs, this course was giving me a run for my seat in my class. Oh my goodness, it was so difficult. Um, so let's talk about why. So physiology will occur three times a week. As you can see, it bounces back to back to back. Um, there are six exams in total, but they're weighted differently. So it's based on the unit. So each exam is weighted a different percentage depending on how much the material is covered, as well as a different amount of questions depending on how much of the material is covered. As you remember from my blogs, these exams occur every two weeks, okay? One time I had an exam that had 18 PowerPoints not 18 PowerPoints with like 10 slides, like 18 PowerPoints with like 60 to 80 slides, okay, each. Oh my goodness, it was so scary. But the key to being able to pass that class is perseverance. It is preparation. There is not a lot of time in the class for you to be asking questions to the professor. So you have to prepare at least the first 15 slides so that you can stay focused and follow along in the lecture. Um, sometimes when there wasn't enough time, the professor would have to say that during this hour of lecture, no one can ask any questions and they might have to zoom through the PowerPoint and now you're sitting there dumbfounded, like what's going on? I don't know what to do. So it's best if you come prepared to class because it'll make it easier on everybody. So different topics that you'll cover include neurophysiology, endocrine physiology, GI physiology, and the list goes on. Um, something that I liked about this class was the syllabus. It was very wonderfully written out. Please read your syllabus, everybody. Like I said the last time, read, 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 and read again. Um, there are references to the book. The lecturer is listed on there. There are short outlines. Um, for a tip, this is really an all or nothing class. So please get a group study growing. If you are really good at one of the topics and while the rest of your class is not really grasping it, host a study session, help your class, okay? You guys are all together to get through this, okay? Um, you do get the PowerPoint way in advance usually, and I think they're organized by the professor's names. So you'll have all the lectures that that person is supposed to do. The professors work really hard on making sure and, and making sure, and making sure, sorry, I'm making sure that integrity is working so that you have something to look back at and review because they do draw on the board a lot and they do draw on the screen. So not just having an audio recording is really easy for this class, but being able to visually look back at the lecture as well is really, really helpful. Um, yeah, so that's physiology, you guys. Study, prep, make a schedule. You'll be fine, I promise. So the next class is oral diagnosis. It is worth about, let's see, one credit. It's worth one credit. What I have to say about that is that there are two exams and sometimes there are pop quizzes. Honestly, repetition is the key for this class. I made note cards and it helped a ton. Um, you don't really get this information before class. I think you get it during class, so you definitely have to go. And it's your one and only 8 a.m., so make it count. Make it count. Occlusion is your next class. It is also worth one credit. There were two exams and lots of pop quizzes. So the syllabus came with book references, which is always fantastic, as well as the lecture. Repetition, repetition. And what I mean by repetition really is just to make no cards so you can see it over and over again. I suggest Quizlet, other people like Anki, choose whichever one works for you. Exclamation points are because this information you will use forever, okay? It dips into other classes, but this one right here, you want a firm foundation, especially with the boards becoming more clinically based. You have got to get this information in your head. So take this class seriously. I mean, you should take all your classes seriously, but yes, occlusion is very important. Another one credit class, Intro to Prosthodontics. There are about two exams and five quizzes, but what I liked about these quizzes were that they're basically take home and correlated with the lecture. So if you pulled up the quiz while you're in lecture, you could do two things at one time, and it ensured that you're paying attention. As I see 
I have written here? Repetition. So basically that means makes no cards again. <laughs> um, so as for the syllabus, the lecture title is listed and the lecture as well, but there is no direct correlation to the book. But as you can see there, the title is given so you can make your own type of um, inference as to where you should be looking into the book. This is the basis for all of your other Procedance classes, okay? So once again, if you get a grasp here, the next semester, it'll be easier to get through. Clinical observations. It's exactly what it says. You are doing observations within the different specialties and the different aspects of the clinics at HUCD. This is the last 0.5 weighted course for the spring semester. Also, you get the opportunity to assist, which is a lots of, and lots and lots of fun. This is an opportunity to make connections from your dental classes to the clinic, especially ones like dental materials and operative. So there's also a head and neck rotation. Um, it's where you get to learn how to perform an oral cancer examination. There are materials that you need to read beforehand, so please read beforehand because you don't get tested like on a quiz, but it's kind of like a verbal testing that happens. Um, and it's also something that you're gonna use forever as a dentist. So remember, keep in mind, this is a very important session you have to attend. And also remember that all your classes are mandatory unless they're stated otherwise. So be sure that you attend. And last but not least is intro to periodontics. I really like this class. Um, so there are two exams. There are quizzes basically every class at the beginning of class. So you're handed a piece of paper that it's given to so you can't turn in your own type of piece of paper. And you have to be on time because I think they stop handing out paper at like 8.59. So if you get there 8.59 in like one second, you may or may not get a piece of paper and you will have to get a zero on that quiz. So you have to be on time and ready. I also remember the first day of class we had a quiz on the material we didn't even go over. So if you didn't review the PowerPoint the day before, yeah, man, you're not, um, probably not gonna do well on the quizzes okay so you have to prepare for this class uh, the syllabus has the lecture the lecturer as well as book references so that's always good some of the teachers have really 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 awesome outlines that they give you but it has lots of information so don't get overwhelmed and like I said it's one credit but hey one credit doesn't mean anything here at HUCD you need to be competent so study be prepared and get ready for class wow we're done so some tips that I have is to remember that this is different from the fall semester. The fall semester you had about six classes, but now you have 10, well, minus one, like nine, for exams that you have to worry about. So you have to really make adjustments. You can't spend too much in, um, time on one subject, okay? So keep that in mind. You're dealing with a lot more classes than you were in the fall semester. Um, prepare for class. You have to prepare for class so that the class can go a lot more smoothly so you can have an idea of what in the world is going on and you're not completely lost. Read, read, read. Like I said the last time, it is very important to read. Read your syllabus. Know what is expected of you. Breathe. Also breathe. Have fun. Do some fun things to take your mind off of this stressful semester because, yeah, I did that and it was a lot of fun. I saw the cherry blossoms. You guys should do the cherry blossoms. They're really pretty. Um, reach out if you need help, okay, because the semester is crazy. It is not going to stop. It's going to keep going test after test after test. So reach out if you need help as well as make a detailed schedule. Every minute counts. Every second counts. Be sure that you're using your time wisely. So. This is it. That's it. My name's Shade. This was my D1 academic schedule. I hope you enjoyed and please do subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll catch you on the flip side.